When I gave him my trophies, Assis said you should be spending more time finding Red Ma than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Ma right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Ilsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glinthawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can.
About time you showed up. More Glen Hawks incoming. Judgment burns. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. They must be attracted to the kills I saw upriver. I should go back, but if more attack here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. is ours.
There are snot log carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Glintox were drawn here. Whoever did this must have left tracks from the book. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. <laughs> Those blinds up there concentrate fire on a target. Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat. And a wasteful one, too. <laughs> These must be the Snap Maw Hunters. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a Glintalk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snapmaw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glintalks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? You already have one? Well, that's impressive. All right, then. There. The heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Aloy. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was... A hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait. Are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? <sighs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of Venora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it will bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of Venora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge! Even though Tarkas is barely cold, 
I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. It's safe to sit here, but head into the outlet instead of machine will get you. 